Everybody, this is Miss Lags Lot with Black Magazine. I am in, I'm not sure if this is the Meatpacking District or the West Village really at this point. We're somewhere in Manhattan uh, with Kelly Shabari. Hey, Kelly. Hi, how are you? Great. Um, so you're in New York for the week. Tell me, how is New York? I love New York. I used to live here like 15 years ago. So it's kind of like yesterday there was like a morning interview and then some evening interviews. And so I spent like three hours just kind of wandering around <laughs> and going, oh, I used to work there. Oh, I used to hang out there. Oh, what happened to that place? Like, there was a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. So it's been 15 years. A lot has changed in the city. Did it make you sad? Um, you know, I because I used to work in theater, like, a lot of the places I used to work at were, like, Radio City, Broadway. So, like, a lot of that hasn't changed much. It's like the shows have changed, but, like, the atmosphere in the city itself hasn't changed. Um, I haven't made it over to Ground Zero, which I kind of really wanted to do this trip, but I'm already planning to come back because I didn't realize exactly how much I missed it until I've been here for a week, and I'm like, wow, I really miss New York. So I'll, I'm already making plans to come back, like, in March. Awesome. Yeah, I miss New York when I leave. I can't stay away from it. Um, how long did you live here for? Uh, about six years. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, so where are you headed from here? Um, I'm actually headed uh, for like the evening in Los Angeles. I'm, I'm actually going to Rhode Island tomorrow because um, Megan Andalou, who's a sex educator, her Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health oh. is doing a screening of my movie, Kelly Shabari is Overloaded, and doing like a Q&A. So it'd be lots of questions like, so how did it feel to have 18 guys loads on your face? And I'd be like, sticky. <laughs> so it should be fun. Um, from there, I'm going to go back to LA for like one night, and then I'm flying to Las Vegas to scout the location for this breast cancer fundraiser that I'll be doing during AVN, which you are a part of. Yeah, yeah, we've got this thing going on. Um, well, I don't want to. I don't want to say all of it. I want you to say all of it. But we are working on something together um, during AVN week in Vegas in January. And Kelly, can you tell us more about it? Yes. Um, I did a breast cancer fundraiser about three years ago because my mom had breast cancer. Um, th she passed away this past summer, as did uh, the clown porn innovator Holly Stevens and so between uh, the Holly Stevens I don't know if it's a Holly Stevens foundation but it's um, there's a lot of fundraising efforts in her name and there's also the breast cancer fundraiser that I just kind of do kind of haphazardly depending on the year when I do have time and um, we're going to be showcasing um, Lainey Spicer. She has a book called The Confessions of the 100 Hottest Porn Stars. So she's going to have porn stars actually reading from the book. Uh, you did an art installation, like video installation here in New York. Um, both you and Lainey didn't really get a lot of press in the West Coast. And your art installation is called Consent, right? And we interviewed a lot of uh, performers in the industry about various things. So we're going to be showcasing those videos as well as Lainey's book. Um, we have a couple of really amazing MCs that will be running the event. Um, hopefully we'll have a couple of clown porn performers running amok and causing chaos and fun and we will also be having raffle prizes all night long so that's going to be sometime during AVN week we're thinking Wednesday evening yeah it's actually going to be the night before the fan event but also the first night of the novelty expo it's right smack in the middle of the week it's Wednesday night and it's actually going to be at body English inside the Hard Rock Hotel like I was I the last um, fundraiser I did was actually at the Erotic Heritage Museum, which is kind of a bit of a ways away, like you need a car to get there. Um, but AVN kind of got wind of what I was doing and they said, well, why aren't you making it part of our event? So it's actually an AVN endorsed event and they were nice enough to kind of donate a few hours at Body English, which is this amazing nightclub inside of the Hard Rock. So it's going to be totally high class. And if you're thinking about coming out to AVN um, for any of the expos or for the awards show, you should come out early and hang out with us. Um, so I want to ask you, so I know that Holly Stevens was the clown porn innovator and, you know, that's, I knew that, but who else does clown porn? I don't really know about this. Do you know about this? Yeah, actually, uh, Dick Chibbles. Um, there's actually a lot of people that did the initial clown porn movie with Holly and Dick Chibbles actually finished editing the, like, Clown Porn 2, I don't really know what the actual title is, but it's like the new Clown Porn movie, and so he'll be showcasing that uh, during AVN, but he's also said that he wants to participate in the fundraiser, so there may be some um, screening type things of the movie, there might be just some more clowns running around, um, and, and don't be afraid, I know clowns could be really scary, but 
in this case, they're just pervy. So I think it's going to be just fine. <laughs> Which is usually why you're afraid of clowns, because you're afraid that they might be pervy. But if they're just being pervy, like, out front, then there's nothing to be scared of. They'll just, you know, slobber over you a little bit. <laughs> It'll be done. Like pinch your butt. I think that's their thing. Pinch your butt and, like, you know, beat you with balloons. <laughs> that's, like, so many fetishes all in one right there. <laughs> Well, okay, so dude, tell me about your uh, your movie Overloaded. Like, I had talked to you right after you filmed it, but it hadn't been put together yet. So, how's that all going? Uh, it actually has been very well received. For those of you who don't know, and I don't know why you don't know, um, Kelly Shibari's Overloaded is my fan movie. Um, when the women's soccer team won, the Japanese women's soccer team won the World Cup, I kind of made like this like dare, and I said if they did win, then I would have sex with everybody on Twitter. And then they won. And so <laughs> to like follow through with it, and and uh, so we had like almost 200 people apply, like between 150 and 200. And then I said, no, you actually have to get tested. And that kind of narrowed it down to about 18 guys, um, which is still a lot of people to have sex with all at the same time. So um, we we did that. And obviously, it's called Overloaded because there were a lot of loads <laughs> on me. <laughs> and um, after the, the blow bang part of the movie, we, we actually found that we had chemistry with like four or five of the guys from, from the event. So we had then invited them home and we actually did like my first anal my first double vag my first double penetration my first cream pie like a whole bunch of firsts so it's like I it wasn't that I did that on purpose like I didn't hold on to all these firsts on purpose but it just so happened that way and I was like oh I've got this amazing movie now with like all these firsts that my fans haven't seen and so um, I kind of self released it in the beginning and it kind of was the first the number one selling video on that website for two months solid and then uh, the people from Monarchy and Exile Distribution uh, approached me and said, hey, can we distribute your movie? And we're already in our, like, our second wave of reorders. So it's been doing amazing. That's so cool. That's because I know that you used fans, so these are real guys. You know, it's not performers. Like, that's, that says something. Yeah, I mean, that's... And, and, and this is the funny thing for guys out there who think that they need to have, like, giant penises, is that it's because they didn't that I was able to do double penetration and anal and those things that I don't usually do on porn sets because I can't make it fit. So those guys with like what you would consider average size, you should be really grateful that you have that because you can actually have more anal sex than the porn stars. Right. Yeah, I've actually, I've heard that from a lot of people. Like as a porn star with a big dick, it could be really hard to actually get laid in your private life, I would think. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would agree with that just from my personal experience. Yeah. 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 Well, um, I mean, congratulations. I really, um, are you planning on doing anything like Overloaded again or is it a one-off? You know, everybody's been asking me, uh, especially now that I'm out here on the on the East Coast for Exotica and then this past week, every everybody who comes by my booth was asking. That was like their number one question. When are you going to do another one and are you going to do one on the East Coast? So I'm kind of contemplating it. You know, I, I did have a lot of fun. So, um, you know, I'm planning on being back in, in March for Catalyst Con and in Atlantic City in April for the Atlantic City Exotica. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll plan an Atlantic City Exotica Blow Bay extravaganza. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's extravaganza. Yes. Well, if you do that, you should let us know. We could totally get some behind-the-scenes footage or something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I really just want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're going to get back inside because it's kind of chilly. Um, but, Kelly, it's been great talking to you, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody.